Hello and welcome to this video in the Tableau for Sport series. Now this video is going to be a little bit less about Tableau and a couple of people have asked me about collecting XY data in the first place. So I've given you some examples of where you can download data from Statsbomb and uh, FB reference uh, websites, those kind of places. But obviously a lot of analysts and stuff want to collect the, the data themselves. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a few little ideas around that. So let me just jump over to this. Now I'm going to come back to these. These are two free resources I'm going to show you and I'm going to use for this demonstration. But just depending on your budget or what level you're working at or that kind of stuff, the probably the, the three other main softwares that I've come across in my experience of analysis is Dartfish, which allows you to collect XY, the same with NAC Sport, and then you've got Huddle or, or Huddle Sports Code as well. And these three programs you know, they're paid for solutions. They're probably the industry standard in a lot of cases and um, will allow you to collect that type of information and much, much more besides. OK, so I just want to mention that they're the kind of three main ones you could go and dig into if you have a budget. But keeping on the trend of free here. Uh, first, I'm going to look at this app by uh, Torvni and GitHub. And then we've got FC Python who've created a similar kind of tool here. And they're really quite straightforward, but really, really good, to be honest. Um, so I'll just give you an idea here. This is the pitch. This works on a mobile as well, I found. Um, so you can come in here, you select the type of event you're about to log or tag, and then you just click on the pitch where it happens. Okay, so we can see it's at X23, Y25, I click on the center circle, it's gonna be 50-50 and so on. Okay, so you can just go through and click through your various uh, items here, change it to a pass and log where the pass has happened. Okay, so you can see the type of event and then the X, Ys that are there as well. Okay, so really nice tool. The one from Torvni here. Um, Again, I probably just about prefer this one. So you've got a pitch. I haven't tested this on the mobile, so I don't know if it works on a mobile. That's the one thing to check. But you could collect this by pen and paper during a game and then transfer it to the app afterwards. Or if you have a video, obviously you can have the video on one side and this app on the right hand side and just tag away. So similar process, you come in here, you click the area of a pitch and it creates a yellow dot. Now one probably change or slight changes suppose i was just tagging shots in the fc python one i've no way of distinguishing whether they were goals misses blocked or so on uh, where here i can't tag what type of event it is but i can use the one two three keys to change the color of the dot so if i hold one when i click i get a blue dot three or two gets an orange and three gets a purple OK, so you could come up with your own scheme to say that, you know, purple means a goal. And three means something else and one means a block and so on. So you kind of have four options there. But basically you just tag away on, on the game and then you're able to download the results. So I'm going to download this set here and we can redo it in Tableau. Just one thing to note, now both of these pitches work off the same kind of dimensions, but you see they're orientated slightly different. So it is important to figure out what, what scale the pitch or the collector is using. So in Statsbomb's case, I think it's 120 long by 80 wide. But to be honest, any collector is likely to have their own version. Opta is 100 by 100. This particular pitch uses 100 by 100, and so does FC Python. Okay, so you do need to figure that out. And how you do it, the way I would do it anyway, is I just tag the four corners and then download the list and see. Then you'll know what the range is. So I've already done that to, to learn that this pitch is 100 by 100. All right, so I've downloaded the events here, events three, and we can jump into Tableau then and map this. So I'm going to connect to data. So I'm connected to the data set here. Uh, we can see we've got the X and the Y. And then we've got these mod one, mod two, mod three. Okay. Now this is whether you clicked one, two or three. So if they're all false, you, uh, you didn't click anything. So you could write a calculated field to, um, 
to tidy this up. So ideally these should probably be in one column. I think that would be easier. But let's come back to that in a second. So let's just do X and Y. And we'll turn off the aggregate measures. I've shown this in previous videos, so I'm going a little bit fast. Let's add the pitch. So we've got my pitch in here. And I said, you need to know what the extremes are, what the two ends are. So in this case, it's 100 and the bottom is 100. OK and OK. And something I always do, as I said, I've shown this before, is fix this. So it's at 100. And the same with this. This just means if you filter any events, you'll still see the whole pitch. It won't, uh, it won't shrink the pitch in any way. So I want to keep it like that. OK, so that's our pitch. And if I jump back to what this looked like, you can see actually I've got my top and bottom mixed up here. OK, so these events here, and this is always something that you should check are up here. So we turn on the Y axis and I have to reverse it, which puts the 100 to the bottom. So that top corner is 0, 0. That's what I want. And that looks a lot better. And now we can tidy up whether I clicked on the button. So we'll turn the color coding into, into something. And as I said, really, I want these to be uh, one column is really what I'm looking for. So it's probably a better way to do this, but I think this is the best way. So we'll call it... Um, uh, shot outcome and we can just say if mod one then I'm just going to make this up but let's say I said it's on target else if mod two is true then Else if mod three, then goal. Else, which is kind of a catch all, we'll say off target. And then we write end. Okay. And this is really just merging those three or columns. So this is if mod one equals true, we don't have to put the equals true, it recognizes that. It, so it means if they're all false, it'll be off target. So we click OK. And then I can put shot outcome onto color. Uh, maybe let's change the color or the size. And you could even put the label on if you wanted. Okay, so I can see where our goals were, where our block shots were on target, and then where our off target was. Okay, so that's from your collection. Download to an Excel or CSV file and then into Tableau. So collecting your XY data, as I said, there's paid providers, but there are free options if that's the way you want to go as well. Thank you.